Hello and welcome back to the Saintly Scots. So, it is crusade time in roughly, well, let's have a look here. It's like a year, just about two thirds of a year, something like that. Anyway, yeah, so uh, we are a lot stronger than the other side. And I was looking at this uh, off camera a little bit. You wanna see who's on the other side and why we're so much stronger? Yep, there's nobody on the other side. By the way, this is an interesting UI decision. Other side, you click here. This side, you leave. See, I thought you'd click other side and that would show you the other side, or you'd click this side and it would show, show you, and it'd be like, this is uh, like our side, their side. No, that is not the case. This just toggles. And uh, the only reason that uh, tripped me up is when I was off camera, I was trying to look, I was like, all right, let's look at their side. Oh, let's look at our side again then. I was like, I clicked this one left and then had to reload the game. Anyway, it's fine. I'm not sure Germany is the best place for a crusade, given that it looks like there's a revolt that's about to win against them. Yeah. Currently in her favor. If we think that she's going to win, then we don't want the crusade to be on Germany. Yeah. So, Germany has about 6,000 troops. She has 13,000. So, we don't want the crusade to be Germany. We want it to be something else. Like, Aquitaine would be a good crusade. Let's have a look here at targets. Um, oh, we can only choose, like, the top level target. We can't choose the province. Okay. Then who do I want to declare against? Who are, who are you? You're Umar the Young. Yes, I think we should declare against Umar the Young. Uh, and we should, oh right, and then you declare the target. So I think we should declare for Aquitaine. Which one of these is Aquitaine? Um... Oh, the Sultanate of Aquitaine. Yes, that seems like the most obvious one. This is a giant bit of land right where France should be. Yes. I'm going to request to the Pope that we change our crusade objective. King Hakam of Scotland. I write to inform you that the Holy See no longer supports Luthar de Paris for the lands of Aquitaine, but rather Yves de Lusignan. I think that was, in a way, they were saying, yes, I agree. So Yves is the recipient. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to grant all titles to my beneficiary, do I? Oh wait, no I do. That's that's fine. I'll stick with my previous decision. That's fine. She is a bastard, so that means that she would actually have the land and it would be a new house. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, I still support my beneficiary. We're less strong, but it's less of a waste to our side. I mean, yes, more people might join their side now, but I think it's... A, before it was a bit of a waste in general that the war we were doing, because it was we were already going to get that land, so yeah. Uh, I also want to pledge more. Distribution of 12 artifacts. Ooh. It's going to be two artifacts each. Uh, does this one allow me to contribute more? Oh, I was hovered over there. Oh, interesting. The more money you give, the more stuff. I guess we can't give any more yet. Yeah, that's okay. We'll see if we can give more before the uh, crusade starts. Yeah, I want to invest in this crusade pretty heavily. Uh, that's our retinue, isn't it? Yes, so we probably don't have to pay any money for them. The heavens briefly lit up and the ground shook as the rock from the sky crashed into the castle gardens. I sent my men to investigate and they came back for a lump of a curious metal we have not seen before. Um, I would like a legendary blade. Forget the, uh, forget all of the religious stuff. I want the legendary blade. Thank you. It's been a few weeks since the great rock from the sky landed in my gardens and the weapon that I ordered forged from the metal is complete. I look upon the sword of wonder. All the way from the heavens and now in my hand. It's clear it is truly a glorious weapon. A sword from the heavens just before we fight a crusade. That's got to be a good omen, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That, that's a good omen. I, I like it. It's definitely pretty good. It means that we actually have any skill in fighting whatsoever. By the way, I know we're a craven. I know we're not really the type to go to war. We're going on the crusade. I mean... If everyone else is, I'm going on the crusade. I don't want to be left out. I just noticed that Denmark have the smallest bit of land on in Ireland. Anyway, uh, they're, they're trying to hide and be England, but they do hold land there. We will clear out our island in a little bit, but 
you know, crusade first. Um, in your third, whatever name has uh, uh, finished her education, she probably just needs to be executed, to be honest with you. Or, you know what we could do? We could just convert. We could just ask each of these people to convert, couldn't we? Oh, we can't ask them to convert because their religion is reformed? Or why can we not ask them to convert? They're, they're pagan. Oh, I guess because they're not part of my realm. Yeah, they're not part of my realm. Well, if I can't ask them to convert, I'm just going to execute them. Yeah. That's fine. Ooh. Mass drowning, by the sounds of it. Okay. Interesting. Right. How long to the crusade? 100 days. Wait a little bit more. 92 days. I would like to invest more in the crusade, please. Yes. Ooh, we could wait just a little bit, actually. Let's wait as long as possible. That's fine. I just want to make sure we can invest the maximum amount of money into the crusade. As we're not going to invest the most men, but we can invest a lot of money. Um, Christian failure. Excuse me? The announcement about the Grand Crusade was sent to every Catholic realm, but apparently to no avail. The Pope has been trying to gather up support for a crusade for months, but now the Vatican has gone quiet, as the Vicar of Christ has given up on the crusade. Why? The Christians seem more interested with infighting than fighting the heathens or infidels outside their own borders. The crusade was officially cancelled as the Pope held a large announcement denouncing the Christian lords and ladies for the ineptitude in the matters of the faith. Now, it's only a matter of time until God forsakes his faithless followers and leaves them to be conquered by the sacrilegious infidels, blasphemers, and heathens. Oh, he became possessed. That's why the crusade ended, I think. A terrible day for all of us. Oh. Well, now I'm just a little bit upset. Um, are you... You're, you're a Christian now. Yeah, that, that is a good portrait pack, whatever one they've got. I just want to see what kind of wars we can declare on people. We can declare war for Gwent. Or for Middlesex. Um, Westmoreland as well. That would make our realm look a little bit nicer if we had Westmoreland. Multiple people have claims on Westmoreland. I might declare war. He's got 3,000. Um, and that's probably going to be as strong as he is, isn't it? Oh, he's also allied with France and Norway. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, we're not al we're only allied with Poland. That's, that's no use at all. Okay, we are betrothed to the Duchess of Picardy, though. Uh, can we get an alliance with her? Yeah, sure. I mean, that, that is only a small bit under France. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's fine. I guess the only person I can declare war on is Denmark. Near me? Yeah, Denmark looks fairly strong, though. Yeah, they're they're really, really strong. Well, I guess it's time to be at peace for a little bit then, huh? I mean, we're also fairly strong, but... Yeah, just not as strong as the others. Um... Yeah. Yeah, is there anything else we need to be jumping on? We have siblings who aren't married, obviously. Uh, I might matrilineally marry her off, and then the rest of them I will just marry when they come of age for alliances. Um... So, she... Actually, can I even get alliances if I marry someone like her off? So let's uh, just say like there. If I try and marry, yeah, I do get a non-aggression pact. That's fine. I don't really need a non-aggression pact with him, but it was just interesting. So if I matrilineally marry her off to somebody with, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of clicking randomly here until I think of something. Like good genetic traits, I guess, could be cool. Uh, Quick. Yeah, this quick orthodox fellow. He has chest pains, but that's okay. That's fine. He's a little bit of a lunatic, but we'll marry him off. He's also apparently a relative of a Kagan. Oh, okay. Interesting. We'll have a look at that once uh, the marriage has gone through. Why can we imprison her? Uh, oh, because she's highly suspicious. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sounds good. Right. Uh, now what can we do with her? We can probably revoke her title. Yeah. Or we could execute her. We execute her Elsa the Fair, her daughter gets the land. Uh, but she probably won't like that we murdered her parent. Actually, she won't she probably won't get any opinion from it, but uh, I think the better answer is to uh, simply take the title from this Elsa. 
uh, and then to give it to that Elsa's daughter. Uh, yes, I thought we were going to get a pop-up saying, oh, I agree to you having that title, but that's fine. I just give it to her, that's fine. Uh, she currently holds the Duchy of Man, though, so it's not actually the right position. Uh, this is part of the Duchy of Orkney. Okay. Uh, so I probably want to give that to a new person. Do I have any members of my family who are not landed? So if I just look for... I kind of just want to... I Oh, I thought of a better way of doing it. Search all. Uh, great house. My dynasty. Who are a male and not a ruler. Wow, that's everyone? Okay, I'm going to give it to Osric here. Osric, uh, Osric Michelson. Um, yeah, we'll grant him Orkney. Enjoy. That's fine. Right. Uh, and then we'll just unpause. Uh, you've decided they should get married. That's good. Uh, oh, his grandfather was a Kagan. But who then married a... Uh, Greek person. Okay. Interesting. Right. Uh, young Lilith has finished her education in the ways of war. Okay. Um, well, we are going to marry her off as well. Probably just for an alliance, though. Uh, Bohemia? They are not massive. I'm thinking EU4 here, but uh, that's just not the case. Gascon? Oh, that's down there in Umayyad lands. You are also Cathar. Well, I mean, that's really not going to cut it. I also noticed that we're no longer Sultan. I suspect that's because I reloaded the game, unless that changed in a previous episode. But I suspect it's because we reloaded the game. Uh, unless it, you know, previous information there. Um, I probably want an alliance with the German revolt. Is there anyone there? Uthred. Yeah, Uthred of the German Revolt could definitely have a betrothal with one of my half-sisters. Um, why don't you have a betrothal with uh, Euthemia? No. You're just not interested in it. Not interested whatsoever. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, who are you? Nisana. You are Slavic, not interested. What about France? If we got an alliance with France, that would probably protect us from England. Potentially. Um, I'm just seeing if anybody here is... Oh, is married to... I was thinking his, his name was King, but it's not landed. But that's because he's married to the uh, Queen of Italy. Okay, you are betrothed. How about England? We could just marry into England. And that would give us a fairly solid uh, position. Uh, no. Okay. How about Norway? I suppose that's an untapped uh, marriage market, isn't it? Uh, except that there isn't any marriages that we can get. Okay. Or there aren't any marriages we can get. How about Den Denmark? Or Christian as well, aren't they? Yeah. Why does everyone have daughters and no sons? It's very annoying trying to get these marriages to happen. At least when you're doing it manually. Burgundy. You have a son. I mean, the son is an Abbasid, which is definitely going to be an issue. He's also your heir, though. Uh, oh, he's also too far away to interact with. Well, that's going to be an interesting one when that happens. And you have this person. Wow, there really just isn't anybody. Oh, no, you could marry. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to arrange marriage between you and Lilith. Perfect. I'll spend a little bit of time before the next one comes of age. Fantastic. You've accepted their marriage. Uh, now, your sister is the Queen of Burgundy, which is why I wanted the marriage. Can we get a non-aggression pact? We can. I could also potentially get something with this guy as well. No. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll get an alliance with Burgundy. That seems like a very good one. Perfect. Uh, what war are you in, Burgundy? Now that I've got this alliance with you. You're in the second Burgundian Burgundian excommunication war. Defending. Oh. Are you excommunicated? You're uncrowned. Not oh, you are excommunicated. Oh. 
Or maybe I don't want the alliance now, but that's okay. Young Euthemia has finished her um, educations in education in the art of intrigue. Okay, well let's let's marry you off. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll just marry you off normally to someone, and I won't spend a long time for a bond. That sounds good. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So I will now get an alliance with them as well if I can. I cannot get an alliance. Wait, did did he say no? He did say no. Wow. How rude. Um, Zealand. Yeah, I I guess somebody else and the AI made an offer at the same time, I guess, and he just accepted the AI's offer. Okay. Uh, you would like me to join your Burgundian Burgundian excommunication war. I was worried you were gonna say that. That kind of goes against my ethos, but at the same time, I'm not gonna participate. Right. Uh, the blood of Caradog App Sinfelin Catuvelanuni flows through my veins. Since the days he walked the earth, we've abandoned our old pagan faith, though I do see merit in the ways that hate that helped shape such a legend. Uh, you know what? I could have sympathy for pagan religions. Also, that is cool that there is a specific event related to him. Yeah. To the great King Hakam from Captain Othan of the Swift Span, the inability of our previous employer to provide our contractual pay has caused us to look for employment elsewhere. We would serve your majesty if you would have us. How opportune. Uh, yes, unfortunately, now that... There is um, a battle we're in that we're just going to lose, which is uh, not ideal. Uh, we're going to have Torquil be our... Oh, guess he can't be our Chancellor. We'll have uh, Jahan be our Chancellor. Okay, and he will improve relations with the highest ranked person who doesn't like me. Who is male. Uh, there we go. Northumberland. Go improve relations there. Right, uh, we're going to lose this battle. Uh, I could potentially save her by trying to get lift this excommunication. No. She has not been crowned, which is one of your main reasons for not allowing it, and base reluctance. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going to lose this battle. Uh, yeah. Even with my ally dropping more troops on top. I suppose we'll... We'll, we'll play this band. That's okay. Um, I can try and merge up down here on our capital. My half-sister, Rybia um, Bint Ole, has now, uh, you know, finished her um, stuff. She is a strong genius, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, she's also lowborn. She is going to marry, though. It's good. And get us an alliance. We keep our alliance with Poland going. And we can actually imprison this person because he's trying to kill us. But luckily, we told him to stop it, and he's going to stop it. But I'm just going to go attach to this army. And that'll pretty much cover it. Uh, I might send some commanders over as well. Actually, the, that, that one's actually the commander from the Swiss band anyway. So that's fine. We'll send some commanders over. We are attached, aren't we? Yeah, so they can decide what to do with those troops. Cool. I said I might as well watch it. I mean, what else are we going to do? I've been making an effort to spend more time with my half-sister, uh, Ioni, lately. We have not always seen eye to eye, but as our liege, it's especially important to foster loyalty and respect. Cool. He's in the final months of her pregnancy. Uh, some titles are being usurped. That's all right. Ooh, why is that green? Oh, because the revolt won. Well, I mean, I see some land that's ours now. We can either do holy wars or I can just force vassalization. I'm just going to force vassalization. Right, uh, raise our troops, and let's go to war. So grab all of them. Uh, we're going to march our way down to Diffid, uh, including the people who are already on uh, Ireland. That's okay. Right, all down to Diffid. Except that you need to take this route round. That's okay. Right, on pause. Let it all work out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop running in. Stop running in. I saw what they were all doing and thought, that's really bad. Okay. Well, luckily everyone is retreating to that province. Or everyone, right. Uh, that's fine. We grab all of them. 
We'll now march into this province. We'll make sure we have leaders. We'll have Michael lead. We'll have uh, Summer led lead. And we'll have Bashir or Bashar lead. It's fine. Good. Won the first battle of the war. Always a good sign for things to come. Right. A saint in heaven. Is this the first saint? Blessed Tusnik was a true exemplar of the Christian faith, living in a pious and moderate living a pious and moderate life. A grand announcement, Pope Clemens the Fourth has decided to canonize Tuznik, the spark of God. Many tales are told about the saint and the feats he did in life. At the rare moment in his childhood, uh, at a rare moment in his childhood, fire suddenly blasted forth from his fingers, and that was only the first of several such occurrences. Random at first, he managed to control their blessed gifts and used it to help the Christian world. It's a great honor for the family of the blessed saint. May we all aspire to become as pious as him. Blessed be his name. All right. So there's now a new bloodline, I assume, for him. The blood of Saint Tuznik Kabar. All right. Interesting. Bastards cannot inher inherit this one. That's the first time we've seen that as well. Neat. Okay. Uh, so when did he live? Very recently. Oh wow, okay. So he just went straight sane. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, well it's just a very odd one. Like, out of nowhere. I suppose he is Italian. But Kabar sounds like it's not Italian. Yeah, I was gonna say, that sounds like it's from Kabar. Like the Kabar clan over here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, whatever. Uh, let's have a look at the saints list now, so we can now go in. Yeah, saint number one. Go cool, and you can also see the bloodline from that. Well, that is neat. Um, so we could also try and marry into that bloodline, I suppose, at some point. Uh, is the I suppose is the bloodline only active if they're Christian as well? I assume so. Yeah, I don't know if it says. Oh, there we go. Bloodline active, Catholic. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, actually, it doesn't look that easy to marry into. Wait, no, you're unmarried. It's very easy to marry into, except that we don't have any half sisters left. All right, that's fine. Uh, wait, what's the war I'm in? Oh, I'm in this war. Yeah, of course, this war up here. I was like, why would I want to call people into it? It's so easy. But I suppose technically it is a war, right? Another saint in heaven. This Pope's gone mad. I guess maybe we just hit the point where saints can be declared or something? Anyway, this one's our family. Blessed Cecilia was a true exemplar of the Christian faith, living a pious and moderate life. In a grand announcement, Pope Clemens IV decided to canonize Cecilia the right believing. Many tales are told about the saint and the feat she did in life. It is said one of the virtuous men of Innes Gaul was struck under it was stuck under debris. And no matter how many men tried to help, it was impossible to get the man out. Saint Cecilia came across them and prayed to God to help them out. Afterwards, the men could simply stand up and brush the man could simply stand up and brush the debris off as if it was as light as a feather. Such was the miraculous, miraculous life of Saint Cecilia. Um, it is a great honor for the family to be the family of the blessed saint. May we all aspire to become as pious as her. Blessed be her name. Wow, they could have got a better picture of her, right? That's a little bit off. That's sympathy for Eastern religions. He was a crusader as well, though. Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, does that mean we got another bloodline? No. Wait, she's our grand... Oh, grandmother. Yes. But that means it probably only passes them patrilineally. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh wow, now it's got different effects. That's damage against religious enemies. I guess that's because she's a crusader and can convert uh, counties to your religion faster. So that now means that our... Wait, no. So that was our great-grandmother. Our grandmother then... Um... Okay. Yeah, our grandmother then married our grandfather. I didn't realize they were both of our uh, dynasty. I guess I did realize at the time, but I haven't realized it now. Then our father, then us. Okay, but it didn't pass down that way, so it probably is only passed to my aunt. 
who has had no children. But she does have a matrilineal ma- Wait, no, it wouldn't have passed to her. Wait, who would it have passed? Would it have passed to anyone? So she obviously has the bloodline. Does she has the Caradog bloodline? So yeah, I guess it passed to no one, right? It just died out. My uncle does not have the bloodline. Yeah, my father does not have the bloodline. So yeah, it, it's well, assuming that she has no more children, which at uh, sixty-three she's not going to be. That's just yeah, it's it's just died out. Well. We gained a hundred piety, I guess, because she was a kinsman of ours, but still. Interesting. I'm kind of tempted to just let the episode run on a little bit, just to see um, if we get any more saints, because that, those are two in quick succession, and I mean, we had a bunch of people who were eligible to be saints. Uh, I just reassigned the commanders who are off fighting down here. Uh, I'm going to reassign them, and then put on the correct people back up this way. Uh, that was Michael leading the center, and then Summerled leading that one. Right. Carry on. Because uh, it's tribal, we should just be able to assault it all down without actually fighting them. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, you made this person dislike me. Well, that's not very good. Assault it down. Oh, we have Malays. That's good. We have some kind of uh, slow fever uh, appearing. Oh, lovely. Uh, it doesn't appear like there's any in my realm, so I find it unlikely. Oh, we've won the war. Yeah, okay. Offer my peace and force my demands. Okay, uh, I really would like you to change your religion. Um, I can't demand his religious conversion because I must be at peace. Okay. We'll disband, uh, head back over to York, and we will keep an eye on you. Uh, what are we going to be able to do to Leinster? Um, can I revoke his title? Since he's a tribal barbarian, they will not object. It says he might say yes, but also has like no positives. To reduce your malaise, uh, Yoshia told you to stop worrying and start delegating. Wow. Great advice. J oh, you're not feeling well? Or just stop worrying about it. Oh, it went away. I guess it was good advice. Okay. I'm going to revoke his high chieftain. Uh, he said... No. Well, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, I'm going to raise all of our troops and we're going to beat them up again. It's fine. It was basically, are you going to uh, convert? No. Well, I'm going to take the land off you again. Right. Head down this way. And we will take it off them. Right. Uh, everyone get down here. What's this war? Uh, view declared. Uh, you're attacking... For mercy and holy war on Glyniswig. Oh, you're attacking... Ah, uh, yeah, the, um... The revolt. That's cool. I was kind of thinking we might attack the revolt next, but... My vassal wants to do it, then. You know, let him. Salt that down again. Salt this down again. Uh, attack the troops. Defeat them. Right. Salt it down again. How's the war over here going? Are we appear to just be de-sieging. That's what they decided to use the extra troops for. Not very good at fighting wars, are they? Oh well. Uh, and I'll assault this one down. 100% war score. Offer peace and force of demands. Right. Now I'll be taking your title, if you don't mind. Uh, does that release him? No. Uh, can I just take all of his titles? Yeah. That's fine. Since he's a tribal barbarian, nobody's going to object. Right. Um, I could ransom him off to himself. Or just leave him in our prison for a little bit. That's fine. Um, wrong type of holding. You might want to create new vassal. That's a good idea. Do I have any ones where I can do that? No. Well, you see, that's not going to work then, because you see there's no create new vassal option. It's a very useless uh, tooltip you've give, given me here. Uh, that's fine. You can be in charge there. Do I have an Ireland one? I could give it all to the person who holds Lothian, but that seems like a bad idea. That's, that's going to increase their strength a bit, little bit here. Um, I could give it to my half-sister. Yeah, 
Wait, is she even in my... Co I can't give it to my half-sister. I can give it to my... Uh, courtier here. Uh, well, I'll, I'll give him the land and I'll demand his conversion. Yeah. I'm gonna give him the duchy. Then I'm gonna... Well, I can't demand his conversion until... We have ended the... Yeah, I can't demand its conversion until we've ended our war. But I can transfer some more vassals underneath them. Like Desmond. Oh, I, not transfer vassals. Just give them landed titles of Desmond. And the one next to Desmond. Which is... Starts with a U. Gonna be that one. Right, there we go. We'll give them those titles. Uh, U are underneath my kinsmen. That's okay. Right, that looks alright. Uh, I'm happy with it keeping the borders that it had. And then I will get him to convert as soon as the war is over. Right, going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.